Hi, Mr. Jeff. And I just received my Set Power AJ50G Mobile Freezer from the post office today. Jason was kind enough to carry it up here to the garage for me. Kudos to Jason. Thank you, Jason. Uh, unboxing. It's all wrapped up. Still in the packing. Model AJ 50G, 50 liter, approximately 53 quart, DC 12 volt, 24. And deep freeze down to zero. It's got a multi level battery, voltage protection and accurate modulation. Uh, before I set this up permanent uh, or semi-permanent in the back of my pickup, I'm gonna be running a uh, new line back there for 12 volt all the way in the back of the pickup. And uh, that'll be uh, my next little project. But uh, I've got some other things that I need to install along with that. I've got the uh, ST Blade Fuse Box uh, from uh, Six Circuits with cover and negative bus from Blue Sea. And I also have a uh, uh, MLVD. It's a low voltage disconnect. Uh, not necessary with uh, this refrigerator, but not everything that uh, I put back there would have the voltage disconnect. Uh, so anyways, uh, this will be a nice little thing to have. Some of the additional things that I have to help me along the way is uh, steel stick JB weld to hold some uh, equipment inside under the hood where I can't uh, get to to put screws in uh, scotch mount uh, flex tubing for the wiring from the engine bay all the way back through the frame up into the I'm gonna go into the right tail light assembly area uh, I will be Installing, set this just a second here. The 12 volt adapter, which will also have two USB ports and uh, a voltage this a, a voltage indicator. So here's what we have, all the way from. You guessed it, China. So the 12 volt adapter, two USBs, one is a uh, one amp and the other one is a 2.1 amp and the uh, that way, uh, the voltage, uh, DC voltage indicator. So that will be installed and then uh, simple enough wiring, two, two, two. So that's easy enough to handle. The only thing I'm gonna have to actually do is remove these and I'll have to mark the internal uh, diameter and use a hole saw to uh, cut the appropriate holes and put that in. The holes will be, I'm thinking the back of the truck, I'm thinking the best place would be right in through here on the inside. Why? Because that will allow me to reach through after I remove the light assembly and put my hand in there and I'll be able to tighten up those uh, circular nuts on the back of the uh, uh, on the back of the 9 volt uh, or the 12 volt and the uh, USB ports. So that's the little project that uh, I'm not going to actually start right now. I'm just going to do my unboxing and all, and make sure that everything uh, that I have is what I need, and then. We'll see about uh, we'll see about getting it all started and set up. And see how things work out. So, stay tuned. We're going to do the unboxing we just received from the uh, USPS uh, of the Set Power AJ50G mobile freezer. Let's see what we got. So, cut, cut.
Let's see. Tilt this up just a little bit here so we can. On off, max echo, plus minus. And a tab there to hold it, keep it from flopping all the way up. And a little chart. Food type, recommended temperature settings. Set power, AJ50G, it's a refrigerator, 5060. Uh, 12, 24 volt, uh, 4.6 amp, 2.3 amp. Uh, refrigerant is R13, uh, R134A, 45 grams, and the insulation blowing gas is C Pantene. Well, box of goodies. Inside. Must be freezer compartment over here. Mm. Top one dry, do not eat. Non menage, ne pas manger. Okay, got a little LED light right there. That's good. Deep compartments. Removable tray. Put the Divider back. Oh, look at that. Removable divider so you can put bigger stuff in there. All right. Well, that might come in, might come in real fine and handy. Now, it, uh, oh. Comes with the oh, two. Oh, okay. It does have the 110 right there. All right, so that would plug right into here. Okay, and then uh, into your house current, and then you plug the uh, the 12 volt adapter into there, into the the cooler. All right, that drops it down. So a couple of. I don't have 12 volt running to the back of my pickup truck. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to install 12 volt running from the engine all the way up here. And I'm going to install it right in this area here, right inside the tailgate. And the Removal of the light will give me access to it, uh, allow me to connect the wiring and all. But uh, I also have to run the wiring from the engine compartment all the way under. Uh, I'm going to zip tie to the frame as much as I can. And then I'll bring it all up and come out up underneath the rear lens here and connect in. To the holes that I have to drill wire everything up and put the connectors in there for the 12 volt the connectors I'll be using will have I was gonna go with a two but I decided to change my mind and I'm gonna go with three so what I'm gonna have on each side I'm only gonna do one side today but each side will eventually have uh, three and there will be two USB ports. There will be one voltage uh, indicator and there will be one 12 volt adapter as well. So once we have the wiring all done, one side will be set to go and I can install at my leisure under the hood. We have the mount back here for the low voltage disconnect. Uh, 
That's the one with some heavy duty 3M uh, uh, super, uh, what is it, UHB tape. Um, and so is the bus. And uh, I cleaned uh, everything off on uh, both uh, with uh, alcohol prep and uh, made sure that uh, everything was good. And then I put the tape on and that tape has been on for a week and I, I can't budge that stuff off. All right. Got my helper out here with me, the lovely Miss Bella. Hi, baby girl. Now, I didn't know how much wire I was going to need to go from the in engine compartment down under and uh, back along the frame. So actually, I've got about uh, that's about a 22 foot run right there. Um, I can always make it shorter, but you know, damned if I wanted to make that longer. Right. Yeah. It's just not easiest in the world. It would be right in here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, damn it, now I gotta measure that to find out. So, stay tuned. Okay, well, as it turns out, I do have clearance in there. Don't call me Clarence. <coughs> I do have clearance, it's gonna be tight. I'm going to have to go a little bit offset from that switch down there, but I can do that. It's going to be right about, right about that position right there. And uh, that will give me uh, some really, that'll be a lot better mounting area actually than where I had it envisioned over here on the side. And I'm guessing that the other side will be identical. So, uh making the long story even longer. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Stay tuned. got done is I had the uh, I got done uh, with the three holes nothing is uh, nothing is secured in here just yet I'm not ready to do that just right now and let's pop that one out too so I've got that positioned how I want it I've got my wire I had uh, 10 gauge red and black and uh, red power of course the black into the green for the ground well let's see I have the wire loom run and all the way up to the engine bay I have this installed the three receptacle outlet there and I'm ready to wire and install but first, what I want to do is use the Dremel to clean up a little bit so that I don't have hard or jagged edges. slow I don't want any slivers 
All right, good job. Smoothed out. Now, back to the hard parts again. I gotta try to figure how I'm gonna get my big fat hands up inside that I could start the mounting. What I've done though in the meantime is I took my yellow liquid paint marker, Milwaukee Home or whatever, and uh, I painted the plus for each of the connectors so that at least I can see where the plus is going to go instead of trying to guess. So let's see if we can install. all the wiring done in the back I'm up here to the front and I'm gonna have to do some wiring all right we're back to work again after <laughs> after neighbors kids wanted to come over and play with the dog and other folks walking by and they want to stop and chat and see what you're up to
all the connections are made. The only question is now, does it work? Check to see if I even did this correct. So, come into the back here. Oh, look at that. 12.3 volts. I guess I did it right. Ah, but damn. I surprised myself. Twelve three volt, uh, twelve point three volts. Not uh, doing anything. Fourteen point eight is the readout. Eight seven nine eight. Fourteen point eight. Good. I think we did it. <laughs>